I'm Mary Dew, and these are the Zen Dogs. Bear in the front here, Johnny over here on the side, and we come to you every evening at 7 p.m. Eastern from the, on the Mary Dew Yoga Facebook page for the Hug for Prosperity Meditation. This is a 40-day meditation, and tonight is night 34. Night 34. We are beginning our last week of this meditation, which will end this Saturday, June 20th, on the summer solstice. That will be our 40th day of this meditation. So the Hug for Prosperity meditation has been a wonderful experience so far. Uh, we've been really dialing into what prosperity is really all about. and. The fact that we already have prosperity and abundance within us. It's just a matter of releasing our mindset of scarcity, our old patterns of lack, and letting that go so that we can make room for both our prosperity and abundance, kind of all tied together, for that to come up and shine. And at that point, our individual prosperity connects with the whole unified field of prosperity. And that, when we get into that vibration, that's when abundant things start happening all around, and not just for us, but we're able to share that vibration of abundance, we're able to share that prosperity with all those around us. So let's jump into our meditation for this evening. For night 34, maybe rock side to side, lift up on the right hip, Place the right sitting bone down, lift up on the left hip, place the left sitting bone down, and really drop into your body, allowing those sitting, bo sitting bones to dig into the earth, and then send down roots to connect you energetically with Mother Earth, with Pachamama, that grounding force. Feel your lower body begin to really ground, connecting with the earth. Feel yourself begin to relax. We roll the shoulders up and back a couple of times, just releasing any tension. And begin to be aware of your breath. Taking a moment to drop the shoulders as you lengthen up through the crown of the head, up through the neck, keeping the chin slightly tucked so you have a slight neck lock. Take your right palm to the back of your head and just let it rest there, don't press but kind of gently press the head back into your palm without allowing the palm to move. And just feel what that feels like. That's a neck lock. You're really lengthening as much as possible through the back of the neck. You're tucking the chin slightly. Then drop the shoulders so that you've got a really nice long spine from the base all the way up and out through the crown of the head. And then close your eyes. Rolling the eyes up to the third eye point, the seat of our intuition. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Drawing the breath down deep into the belly, allowing the belly to expand. Feeling the ribs expand, feeling the chest expand. All the way up and out the crown of the head. Lengthening through the spine and then keep the length of the spine. Keep reaching up through the crown of the head as tall as you can sit as you exhale, following the breath, back down the spine. Vertebrae by vertebrae, drawing the navel in to press the breath out. Keeping the palms on the knees in a gesture of grounding. Take another deep inhale through the nose. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, keep inhaling. And then exhale on this one, sigh it out the mouth, let something go. <sighs> Navel comes in. One more deep breath, inhaling deeply through the nose. And this time exhale through the nose. And allow yourself to Come into that long, slow, deep breath. Take a couple deep breaths on your own, in and out through the nose in equal parts. 
really deep inhale as you expand, as you lengthen. Imagine stretching the spine from the earth to the sky. As you exhale, draw in light through your crown, light from above, let it cleanse you. Send that light back down to the earth, down through your roots, down to Pachamama, to Mother Earth. Draw the navel in. Last one, deep breath in. And as you exhale, rub the palms together at the center of your chest. Pressing them together firmly, create a little heat, a little bit of friction. Awakening the nervous system by way of this entry point of the palms. And then press the palms together firmly, sealing them from the heels of the palms to the fingertips, all 10 fingertips pressing together. Deep breath into the heart. Eyes still closed and rolled up to the third eye point. And exhale. Keep the palms at the heart center and we'll tune in with our two-part tune-in, first mantra, first part, Om Namo Narayanaya. That is the mantra for world peace. We'll chant that three times with a long, slow, deep breath in between. Om Namo Narayanaya. And then we'll take in four sniffs of air in through the nose. Sniff, 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 right into the Mangala Chadan mantra. For divine protection, Ad Gude Name, Jigad Gude Name. Sat Gure Name, Siri Guru Deve Name. Again, three times, three separate breaths, but on that one we'll take in four sniffs of air in through the nose in between each repetition. Let's go ahead and begin. Take a deep breath into the heart, pressing the palms together firmly. Keep the eyes rolled up, focused on the third eye point. Exhale, draw the navel in to press the breath out. scarcity mindset, let go of any feelings of lack, and allow your consciousness to drop from your head into your heart, into a place of neutrality. It's a place of clarity, clear heart, open heart, a place of gratitude. A place of compassion. This heart space, when it's filled with gratitude and peace and neutrality and it's open and it's clear, this is where and how we cultivate prosperity. So turn the palms up on the knees and adjust your receptivity back so the wrist can rest on the knees. Eyes are still closed and rolled up and take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, exhale through the mouth, sigh it out. Allow yourself to really be in your body, to really be present right here, right now. Committing yourself for just about the next 20 minutes to be a part of this meditation and be completely present, completely open, 
a clear channel of light connecting the earth and the sky. And repeat to yourself either silently or out loud three times. I am open to receive. I am open to receive. I am open to receive. And just allow. Surrender. And trust. Keep breathing deeply in and out through the heart. And I'll read you today's centering thought for the day. So for those of you who might be new to this practice, welcome to the final week. Um, we are doing this as a 40-day HUD for Prosperity meditation, but I also, through a friend, uh, was enlisted into a group that did just finished a 21-day Chopra Center meditation for abundance, an abundance journey, and it kind of coincided simultaneously with this meditation for prosperity. I figure prosperity and abundance together hey, why not? I think we could all use that in the world these days. And so I'm sharing the centering thoughts from the Chopra Center 21 Day Abundance Journey that I just completed. As I live in present moment awareness, I live in the magic of synchro destiny. So allow that to kind of percolate in your mind. As I live in present moment awareness, I live in the magnet in the magic of synchro destiny. As I live in present moment awareness, I live in the magic of synchro destiny. And synchro destiny, if you can think of synchronicity and destiny and the idea of combining those two things, that's Deepak Chopra's idea. He calls it synchro destiny. So it's really about coming into the divine flow and aligning yourself with that divine vibration and riding on the sound current as we're chanting, as we're doing this meditation, chanting HUD. HUD, the mantra, means creative infinity. So we are tapping into the vibration of creative infinity. We're riding the sound current. We're sending it out from our navel, up through our heart, projecting out the throat, riding on the sound current and connecting our personal prosperity and abundance with that of the unified field. And that way, we're completely surrounding ourselves with this prosperity. And with 40 days of this practice, basically we are integrating that mantra so that it always stays with us. We are always prosperous. So take a moment to, your eyes are so closed, Take a deep breath in and just find some gratitude in your heart for all the many blessings in your life. Reflect on that for a moment, find that gratitude. And as you exhale, send out peace all around you. Allowing your heart to be at peace. When all hearts are at peace, the world is at peace. Feel into that feeling of surrender. And gently open your eyes. I'll just give a few quick pointers on this meditation and we'll jump right in. Bring the elbows into your sides. Bring the arms, forearms, 45 degree angle. So basically the backs of the palms, palms are down. You're lining them up with the back of the throat. Bring all four fingers together on each hand lining up the Jupiter fingers, the index fingers. The right thumb crosses under the left as you strike the hands together and you chant HUD, our mantra HUD. That is the one, creative infinity. It's spelled H-A-R, but we roll the R. We want the tongue to hit the roof of the mouth. Roll the R. It sounds more like a D, so give it a try and bring the right palm to your navel center just below your belly button as you try it. So it's HUDA, HUDA, HUDA. It almost sounds like hada. It has a little bit of an echo. Hada, hada, hada. Feel that vibration is really generating at your third chakra, at your navel point. It's rising up through the heart, that clear open space, your fourth chakra, coming out the fifth chakra, the throat, the seat of your truth. 
And by that way, we project it onto the sound current, the sound of creative infinity that calls in abundance all around us. So give it a try. Strike the hands together again, right thumb under left, elbows at your sides. Hud, then flip the palms up, strike the moon side, the pinky sides of the hands together. Hud, flip them back over, right thumb under left again. Hud, flip them up. Hud, 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 right thumb always under left. Hud, hud, hud. And the navel draws into the base of the spine as you chant hud. Hud, hud, hud. You want that action. That powerful action puts the strength behind the chant as it comes up and out. So assume the position. Bring the elbows into the sides. Forearms, 45 degree angle. All four fingers together on each hand. Jupiter fingers lined up. Right thumb under left. Final piece of the puzzle. Roll the eyes down and focus on the tip of your nose. It feels like the eyes are gonna cross, might be slightly uncomfortable, but we're calling the optic nerve to attention for the meditation. We're gonna focus on the tip of the nose the entire time, keep pulling the focus back there, and then close the eyes down almost all the way, just leave them open about a slit, about one-tenth, gazing at the tip of the nose. Hud, 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 hud. Hud, really pumping the navel so that your tongue hits the roof of the mouth. You're really getting that. Hud, hud, and that's it. 11 minutes for prosperity, day 34. Let's go. <laughs> Take a deep breath in with the elbows in at the sides, arms at that 45 degree angle, line up the hands. Bring the eyes down to the tip of the nose. Close them almost all the way. Reaching up through the crown of the head. 
you're hi. so close. Hi. 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 Keep it hi. chanting with power. Hi. Hi. Your navel, hi. your third chakra hi. is the seat hi. of your strength hi. and your confidence. Hi. 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 So strongly, hi. confidently hi. project the hi. sound of creative hi. infinity, hi. the sound of hi. Blowing into the palms, let it go. Inhale, close the eyes, roll them up to the third eye point. As you sweep the arms out to the sides and up through your aura, keep inhaling, reach, drop the shoulders, root down through the sitting bones, spread the fingers wide, drawing in light through all ten fingertips. Inhale, stretch. As you exhale, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it all around. Shake above for a minute. Then bring it down the front of your body. Bring it over to each side. Maybe behind. Maybe loosen up the shoulders, the head, the neck. Be gentle. And then drop back in. Rooting down through the sitting bones, send down those roots into Mother Earth, allowing those roots to ground you, spread out in all four directions, to the east, to the south, to the west, and to the north. And with your next inhale, stretch from below to above, from the earth to the sky. And then exhale. Be here and breathe deeply in and out through the nose, gazing at the third eye point between your brows with the eyes closed as we revisit our centering thought for the day one more time. And our centering thought for today, as I live in present moment awareness, I live the magic of synchro destiny. As I live in present moment awareness, I live the magic of synchro destiny. As I live in present moment awareness, I live the magic of synchro destiny. So just allow yourself to be completely present just for a few minutes longer. Take a deep breath in, following the breath up the spine. Deep breath out, following it back down the spine, down to the earth. And 
know that as you come into this heart space, as you come into this place of peace and presence, you come into awareness and in this awareness, the magic begins to happen. Your destiny aligns with synchronicities, a series of fortuitous happenings, of blessings. Synchro destiny, when everything seems to align, everything seems to go your way and you drop into the divine flow. And mind you, it may not be perfect every step of the way. There may be challenges, there will be challenges along the way for sure, but it's all about where you are when you meet that challenge. And can you be in a place of neutrality and choose not to react, but perhaps to look at the challenge and say, well, isn't that interesting? Observe, listen. Even the heaviest challenges require us to come to this place of neutrality, this place of peace when we make our choices around these challenges. Stay in that place of light and hope and gratitude and compassion. Listen before you choose your action. And listen to your heart. Your heart over your head. This is where we make the most clear decisions. When we're living in our heart, when we're living from our heart space, that's when the magic and the synchro destiny come. That's when we are in full awareness. Up here, we're often just in chaos. Right here is home. This is where we're grounded. This is a, a place of peace for us. Go ahead and rub the palms together at the center of your chest one more time. Waking those nerve endings back up, creating some energy, and then pressing the palms together to seal that energy. Heels of the palms come together, fingertips come together, thumbs come into the heart center. If they're not closed already, close the eyes, roll them up to the third eye point, take a deep breath in. And this time, breathe into the heart, feel it expanding, feel the expansion, feel the openness of your surrender. Exhale, send out the vibration of prosperity all around you. And really feel it. Act as if it's already here. And so it is. We'll close with one long satnam. Satnam, I am truth. Truth is my identity. Take a deep breath in for satnam. Sat Satnam, may you walk in your truth, may you walk in your essence, and may you know that you are loved, you are supported, and the universe always has your back. Know that you are already dialed into your abundance and you are already showing up and spreading that in the world. And thank goodness for that. Keep shining your light, keep vibrating prosperity and peace. And stay open and listen 
to the calling of how you can do your best and offer your unique gifts to the world. Tapping into the magic of synchro destiny. Take a deep breath in. Oh, as you exhale, fold forward at the waist, bring the palms, the forehead, the heart to the earth. Release your breath, release your prayer. And give thanks to Pachamama, Mother Earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pachamama. Go ahead and come back up. Palms at your heart center. Thank you so much for being here and for your dedication to this practice. So happy to have you on this journey. Patty. <laughs> I just think it's great. And I'm really proud of us that we just began our final week. We have six more days after today. Today's day 34. So I will see you. Have a great night. And I'll see you tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. We'll do it all over again for night 35 of the HUD for Prosperity Meditation. Satnam. Aho. And namaste.